I am Michael Kroka. I am a pulmonologist uh, at the Mayo Clinic, and I do consultation in the liver transplant uh, program, helping the uh, liver transplant surgeons and the hepatologists uh, deal with uh, lung problems in the patients that are going to have a liver transplant. The topic today is hepatopulmonary syndrome, which is a very specific lung complication of liver disease. And this particular complication uh, results in the patient being short of breath and having very low oxygen levels because of a very complex relationship between the liver uh, and the lungs. Patients with hepatopulmonary syndrome generally begin with a liver disease and over time they find themselves more and more short of breath uh, with patient or with chest x-rays it may be normal uh, and no other major finding. They may note that their fingertips turn blue, they may note that their uh, finger size becomes clubbed, and further evaluation suggests that indeed this syndrome may exist. We make the diagnosis by doing a sound wave test of the heart which can assess whether or not there are pulmonary blood vessel abnormalities in the lung, and we also measure arterial blood gases, which gives us an idea of the actual oxygen level in the bloodstream. Once we make a diagnosis, it's very important to try to improve the symptoms, and we have the patients wear supplemental oxygen, if indeed the oxygen level is seriously low. And more importantly, we try to define what the best treatment is. There are no medications that help with this syndrome to the best of our knowledge and our experience so far. The good news is, however, that with a successful liver transplant, all of these blood vessel problems in the lung that causes the oxygen level to be low do resolve and they reverse. And it may take many weeks or months after a successful transplant, but indeed this does help the patient uh, it cures the syndrome, and the syndrome does not return as long as the new liver is working uh, as expected. Most importantly, if the oxygen level becomes very low as part of the evaluation that we're doing during a liver transplant assessment, the patient can even get a higher priority for liver transplant. This is a new policy that's been put forth by UNOS, uh, again, it's for the patient's benefit, and the goal is to get a timely transplant so that the oxygen problem can resolve more quickly after the su successful transplant. The resolution of the syndrome takes probably many weeks or months, uh, and again, uh, no medications help with this, and liver transplant is the treatment of choice in most of the centers across the United States. Mayo Clinic has extensive experience dealing with patients with this problem. We have consulted and managed over 100 patients uh, with this particular dilemma, and I must admit the success rate uh, in our uh, program with our surgeons and hepatologists has been excellent to date.